Welcome to learn to live. This video is based on the topic spin spin splitting. There are mainly two features of NMR spectra. The first one is about the area of space enclosed by the absorption peaks. According to it, the area under the peaks is directly proportional to the number of hydrogen atoms contributing to the peak. The second feature of NMR spectra is the pattern of absorption peaks. Consider the chemical shift diagram shown. It is the diagram of ethyl bromide. In this diagram, do not take this signal into consideration. It is the signal generated due to the reference compound tetramethylsilane or TMS. The first signal is due to the proton CH2. And, the second signal is due to the proton, CH3. Let us mark these signals as, signal 1, and signal 2. In the signal 1, we can see there are 4 peaks. And, in the signal 2, we can see there are 3 peaks. Now, let us draw the structure of ethyl bromide. Blue and red colors are given to represent according to corresponding signals. The number of peaks in a signal is equal to n plus 1, where n represents the number of hydrogen atoms in the neighboring proton. From the structure itself, we can see that the neighbor is CH2 for the proton CH3. Therefore, the value of n for the CH3 signal is equal to 2. Therefore, number of peaks for CH3 signal is equal to 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. Now, for the CH2 proton, the neighboring proton is CH3, which means, here the value of n is equal to 3. Therefore, number of peaks for CH2 signal is equal to 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. These multiple peaks caused by nearby hydrogen atoms through a process termed as spin-spin splitting. This is the end of this video. Please like and subscribe if you like the content. Press the bell icon to get instant notification.